Okay, it's um, August 19th, 2011. It's about 12, 12, 15 in the afternoon. I'm here in Aston, Pennsylvania. I open up my lunchbox today and this is what my wife put in here. I don't know what brand it is, but it says it's distributed by Food Hold USA. I never heard of it. It's got zero calories, 100% vitamin C and a bunch of other vitamins and everything, zero calories but it tastes like crap. Don't ever buy it, it's disgusting. Last night I was catching up on Finding Bigfoot. It's a TV show on Animal Planet. I had it on my DVR, They've, they had, they uh, paired them May or June. These guys, the BFRO, you know, I always, I always make jokes about them being unemployed. You know, I wonder if they can still, I always say, I wonder if they can still collect their unemployment check once they uh, finish the last episode of this show. So, but seriously, I think Bigfoot is out there, and I would love to get him on tape. This show has four people on it, four main characters. Renee, the one woman, she's the skeptic. They had this one episode, it was filmed in Uwari National Forest in North Carolina. There was a witness there who caught on tape a Bigfoot. He put out a can, he heard something in his tent, he was camping overnight, he heard, he heard something out of his tent, something actually slapped his tent, so he set up his camera put out a candy bar on a stump, drove away, walked out to his car and drove away for two hours, came back, the candy bar was gone and he caught a Bigfoot on tape with his heat rendering camera or whatever it is. It picks up your heat signal. It's a camera that picks up your heat signal. And they, these guys, they try to recreate the videos that these witnesses have in order to see if it could be human or not. Now this one they recreated looked exactly human. They did it with the one guy and it, it looked, you, you almost thought they were the exact same video. I mean, it, it, was, it was exact. So, but they still said it was a Bigfoot. Renee was a skeptic. Mike Moneymaker, the other the guy, the leader that runs this thing, he was convinced it was a Bigfoot. I think they're out there. I think Loch Ness Monster exists. I don't think she's really a monster, and I don't think people are seeing the same monster over the years. I think it's um, new generations of monsters. I think there's Bigfoots out there. I know a lot of the woods have are explored, but they're very they they're good. They there's a lot of I mean, after the tsunamis, they discovered a lot of new species, a lot. So it is possible that Bigfoot exists. You know. One time when I was a kid driving down in Delaware, I mean you gotta be open, you gotta have an open mind to everything. One time driving down to Delaware or driving down to North Carolina, we were driving through Dover on Route 13. This is before the highway, before Highway 1. And we're driving by Dover Air Force Base. It's like three in the morning. I saw a UFO out my window. Now, everybody I tell the story discounts it and says it's because you were near Dover Air Force Base. And you saw a plane, uh, an aircraft from the from the air from Dover Air Force Base. I don't believe that. I think UFOs they want to hang they they hang around they they hang around military bases. I don't know for what for recognizance for studying to see what type of uh, military hardware the world has. Who knows? I don't know, but. I believe I saw a UFO. They had one video, they had one guy up in Oregon or Washington, they were videotaping a fishing canoeing trip for their vlog. And they didn't notice it until 18 months later when somebody else was watching their video and said, hey, what's that off to the side in the, on the shore? And sure enough, it was this um, black sort of figure. They didn't have an HD camera, so it wasn't completely clear. None of these videos are ever clear. I wish somebody would catch one completely clear with an HD camera. But this looked like Bigfoot. And I believe it was. Now I would love to catch one of these guys on tape. I'd love to I would love to visit Loch Ness and see if I could spot Nessie myself. BFRO guys, these Bigfoot hunters, are a little out there. I would love to go out on a Bigfoot hunt. These guys are out in the middle of the night and they got parabolic microphones night vision cameras, heat vision cameras, infrared cameras. It's just really awesome. So, in my opinion, Bigfoot exists. These guys is BFRO on this show, Finding Bigfoot on Animal Planet. They're a little out there, a little, little touch in the head, but there's nothing wrong with being a little touch in the head. There's nothing wrong with having an open mind. Okay, that's it for today. Oh, he's going on YouTube.